Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. My name is Damien Levy. Result of the week forecast. So this was the odd USD forecast. Let's start with odd USD to see the result of the forecast of Sunday, one week ago. And we use the swing trading strategy to take the trade. Which means, for this specific level, you would have waited a candlestick confirmation at this level. But this level broke and didn't give any confirmation. So now we go to the next yellow line right here and we have a pin bar right here. So your entry point is 48% of the pin bar, the stop loss is 3-4 pips below and the target profit is met. It made 3 rewards already. So the first one win on odd USD. Now this is gold forecast. Now let's look at gold. What happened there? Switch to the 4 hour chart. So on Monday at the opening of the market, the market makes this big candle going up, break one of my level and after made the doji right here. So I took the breakout down of the doji, the stop loss can be right here or just above the doji since it's a very powerful move. Since it's a breakout trade you take 1.5 reward and this 1.5 is met. So it's another winning trade for this. Since the stop loss is even very very big, you could have taken only one, one reward. So this one is a winning. After, what do we have? We have this level made a very huge, huge, huge pin bar. In this kind of situation, you could enter at 50% of the pin only. The length of the pin is right here. And it didn't provide us an entry. But what happened just after is you have this big body blue candle going up. And after you have an angle thin candle going down. So this angle thin candle should have been taken as a retracement entry, but sadly it didn't, it never triggered. And if you take the breakout, which is another possibility, you just take 1 or 1 1.5 every 1 and this one is a win. So that's our second win on this profile. Euro USD forecast. Same here, all those levels are reversal trade to take. Now result of Euro USD. Let's switch on the 4 hour chart. So first we have a doji right here, didn't broke up, so there is no entry right here. But after there is a railroad track right here. And this railroad track you would have taken the retracement entry. And this one is a losing trade. GBP USD forecast. GBP USD, there is no line touched during the last week. New Zealand USD forecast. New Zealand USD, we have only one trade. And what about this trade? So this trade this level right here we made a very nice pin bar right here 50% of the pin bar touch for the retracement entry and this one is a, is a winning trade with 3 reward so so far we have 2 winning trade with 3 reward and 2 winning trade with 2 reward only and 1 loss and let's finish with USD pairs USD CAD forecast ok here we are on USD CAD those level touch, so what happened here? We have this pin bar touching the level and this one is a losing trade. Then what happened after that? We have this doji didn't break down, so there is no entry for this specific trade, but after that we have this very nice railroad track and this railroad track at 50% of it triggered and we are around maybe one reward right now. I will count only one reward since it's a forecast, so you will know exactly how much money you have made during the last week. So there is one reward actually made there. And it should continue to fall one more drop. So for USD CAD, that's all. Let's look at USD JPY. USD JPY forecast. Switch to the 4 hour chart. A lot of level touch. So what happened? This level was touched during the weekend. So it's a doji, it didn't broke up. Then you have another doji right here and didn't broke up. So there is no entry on those specific two trades. After, what do we have? We have a very nice pin bar right here. So we should have taken a sell. And retracement of the pin bar right here. And uh, I think it didn't make two rewards. So it's a losing trade. Yeah. So we have one loss. Then, after that, price made a railroad track. 
right here. When it makes this royal track, you enter at 50% of it, stop loss right here, and this one is a winning trade, going down. You take this specific trade, and it's confluent with the 800 EMA, the dark blue line on my chart, so it's a good one. And this one is a 3 reward trade, that's it, and after you have another trade, the last one, you have this pin bar at the level. So the entry would have been half of the candle, and it's a very wide stop loss so if you take 1.52 reward it's okay so i will count only two reward but know that this trade made easily three reward and i count only two and finally you have one trade right here you have a doji and this doji is broken down so you are in a trade and this trade is at the moment break even with a quite large stop loss and it's a breakout trade so you can expect two reward on this one actually there is a round number right here it can be a good target for next week, but there was an FP, so you should have closed all your trade. And uh, the 50 MA right here. The 50 MA and the round number could have been a good, a good target for it. Now, USD CHF. Uh, and finally, USD CHF. Let's switch on the 4 hour chart to see if something touch. Nothing. We have a very nice pin bar trying to retest the level, but it didn't touch the level, so there is no entry right here. And it was a winning trade, actually. Just for information, there is nothing to count, there is no trade. So that's it for the profile of the forecast of last Sunday. So, to count it, we have three winning trade with three reward, which make nine reward. Plus, three winning trade with two reward, which make it six reward more so we have 15 reward profits and we have three risk losses which make a total of 12 reward profit times two percent 24 percent profit for the week using my forecast of last sunday i will publish a new forecast on sunday for the next week i wish you success see you soon we are already at the end of the video subscribe for updates Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses one on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.